Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to record demos or musical ideas on the go. I'm going to go through some of the ways that I've recorded demos in the past when I'm either by myself, so I'm not working with another producer and I'm not in the studio environment, or I'm on tour so I don't have loads of equipment to deal with, or I'm in bed and an idea has just popped into my head and I really need to get it down. When you're out and about or you don't have access to a microphone right then and there when you have the idea, the easiest way to get down a song idea is just to record straight onto your iPhone, whatever brand of phone you're working with at the time. On this voice memo app that I have, I've got a lot of ideas. Most of them are titled very specifically relating to the lyrics that are in that idea. The ones that aren't, I just call phonic idea one, two, three, or four, five, six. These ideas are really just vowel sounds of how I think the vocal line or melody should go. I can't stop in the focus, is an real light, and I still feel like I'm drowning. Obviously, I'm very mumbly. I'm not actually saying anything apart from I feel like I'm drowning but the vowel sounds are already in there, so I have a foundation that I can come back to and write the lyrics for. I know on the idea that I just showed you, because I do this a lot, that when I don't have anything else around me and I just have my phone to record with, often I just tap the rhythm on the screen so that I can get an idea of the percussion or the rhythm into the recording of the song idea. That kind of tapping the rhythm of the song as you're recording is a really simple idea, but it's really helpful when you're coming back to these recordings and you want to develop that idea into a full song. When you're at home or you're on tour and you have a guitar around you, then it's much easier to get the rhythm idea of the song into the recording. This is a recording that I made, just an idea of a song while I was on tour in February with Christina Grimmie and Before You Exit. To record decent quality demos where you can really get a feel of what the song's going to sound like as the finished product, you really need a laptop or a computer. For recording ideas that are live or just kind of a rough idea of the song, I started recording on my phone, then I moved on to my old laptop which had an inbuilt recording system in there, and then I moved on to my new laptop's inbuilt recording system, GarageBand. GarageBand can be really useful for beginner producers or just anybody if you want to get a song idea down but you want to add different layers to it like percussion or vocal harmonies. When I'm travelling or I'm out on tour and I want to be able to record a decent quality demo, I like to take out with me my laptop and a USB microphone. This is the easiest way to get a better quality demo than one that I could get just recording through my iPhone. This is my Samsung C03U condenser microphone. It can just be plugged straight in with a USB into my laptop and we're good to go. If I'm on tour and there's enough room with all the kit and clothes and everything, I don't usually pack light. If there's enough room, I will always take something to help make the demo quality better and also to make the process a little bit easier on the move. So instead of taking out a condenser microphone that has a USB connection, I take out a condenser microphone that has an XLR connection. This provides a lot better quality of sound for vocals and instruments as well. If I'm going to be taking out my Rode NT1, which has an XLR output, I'm going to need to take out an interface. This is my Focusrite iTrack Solo. This interface I take out mostly because it's very small and compact, but also because it doesn't need any external power. This together with my condenser microphone produces a really decent quality of sound and means that I can play these song ideas to people and they'll know exactly what I was thinking in my head when I was recording them. I gave my body to the ocean And you were the fool In a previous vlog that I did, I talked about how much I loved my Roland SPDSX drum trigger pad. But this is very large and today I want to be talking about things that I can just shove in a rucksack and go out and record wherever I want. So size really is key and the smaller the better. This is a really compact trigger pad. This is the Launchpad Mini from Novation. I really like to use this to input percussion ideas and other instrumental ideas into Logic when I'm recording demos. So Logic is recording and production software. It's very, very similar to GarageBand. I think one of the main differences is that Logic has a lot more inbuilt sounds and samples for you to make your song with, especially if you add plugins too, but that's more the production side of stuff. It's good practice to have a pair of monitoring headphones, 
and a good set of monitoring speakers. That way you can really hear the differences in levels while you're mixing and also hear the details of the recordings. The difficulty with this when you're trying to record on the move is that usually a set of speakers are hard to transport. You can listen back to demos you record on the go through your laptop speakers or your phone speakers or a portable speaker system like this, the Bose Soundlink Mini, which I love. But for fine tuning the mix and really listening to the details in the recordings, I think it's always best to use headphones. I found these around the year headphones from a company called August. These are the EP650s. They are around the year headphones, so they're super comfy and also noise cancelling, so this sounds really strange right now. <laughs> This means that they're great for listening to music in places that aren't silent, so you can still really hear the sound quality even if there's everyday noises. That, along with the fact that these are wireless, so there's no messy wires to deal with, bonus means that they're perfect for listening to music and recording on the go. I also think these are really awesome because they fold down really small. And as I said before, being compact is the key when you're recording demos on the go. I'll put a link to them in the description box below. So that's how I record musical ideas and demos on the go. Let me know if you like this vlog by giving it a thumbs up and I will see you all next time.